Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special video showcase we're going to be looking at another fantastic book. This has been requested by a couple of people on YouTube and from my Instagram. This is of course the book Transformers Vault. This is a few years old now, I think it was 2011 it came out but it's just an absolutely spectacular book and I suppose I just wanted to share it with you. So what it is, as it says there at the back, I don't know if you can read it, it says for the first time here is the complete story of the Transformers, everyone's favourite robots in disguise. And as it says there, it's got never before seen images. It's brilliant. Honestly, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm not going to go through every single page, even though I perhaps could, because again, it is that good. This is obviously a hardback cover. And then the book itself comes out like this so it is mainly about all the story there is a teeny bit of the movies in but because it came out in 2011 yep definitely did it does say there there's not super super amounts of the movies in it, honestly it's really good let's have a look at it then um, i'm gonna have to see if i can get rid of that glare and if you're wondering where i am i'm at my office in work just again trying to get some videos done and keeping the content going so there we go transformers vault and again at the time obviously 2011 the movies whether you love them or you hate them they are very very popular they do bring lots of people to the fandom and yeah i suppose it's good in that aspect that it does it makes transformers more popular we get loads more toys and there's another lovely piece of artwork so we've got here four words we've got chapter one's about the toys chapter two's the comics chapter three is the television chapter four is about the movies um chapter five is the future so there's, there's some good content in here so the best thing about this is loads of artwork and loads of things just to have a look at and have a play with there is of course the amazing first battle scene used on the 1984 boxes and then we've got a foreword there by peter cullen what i'm going to do if you want to read that yourselves you can pause this now and there you go so let's start then so the toys that started it all, of course, there he is, Optimus Prime, or as he was known in Japan, Convoy. And here we go. In fact, there he is right there. That is the Japanese first edition. And of course, we're talking Diaclone. And there is, of course, a Diaclone version of either Ratchet or Ironhide. But yep, he's a totally different colour. There's a lovely picture of Megatron there, talking about the designs and the specs. We've got some more of the pre-Transformers stuff, so the Japanese Car Robo line, which is, of course, the Minibots. That's clearly Soundwave. And then we've got some actual prototypes of Bruticus, and that's a sculpt head of Inferno's... Oh, there's a sculpt of Inferno's head. Again, great book. Excuse the reflection. Generation 1, then. So here we go. Early Transformers. And for any of you who've seen the toys that make us on Netflix, it's quite crazy to believe... That they did a lot of the um, first prototypes, made them out of wood, carved them out of wood, and it shows you that on that program, actually. Then, this is where it gets good. So, let's get rid of this glare. So, there, we've got what is exactly Wave 1 and 2 of the catalogue, which would have come with your figures. But then, look at this. We've got this folding out, and there is all of Wave 1 of the Generation 1 Transformers. And this is the exact flyer that came with your toys in 1984 and of course there's g1 jazz fantastic little fold out there's loads of little bits like that in here which just make this book really really special it's also got other things merchandise memorabilia and again that's the purpose of this video just to show you different things apart from the toys all the time that's a great little get up never saw that myself i've seen that recently a few times on ebay and it probably goes for as much as a normal car there's some nice slippers now here we go everybody knows me who knows my channel that's one of my favorite battle scenes and i suppose this was quite rare to see in 2011 unless you were a japanese collector and again i don't understand why this wasn't used on the um hasbro ones as well there is of course g1 jetfire and then there is again where they're talking about where they started to move on to putting rub signs on we've got some great things here to show you now so we've got talking about the games talking about the other things bits of merchandise i'm just going to take this text spec out for a second and here again is another battle scene that i love from the japanese only release of the figures so we can have a look at that amazing artwork there and yes that is right you did just see me take out these text specs there's a whole sheet of them and you've got your text spec decoder so of course you can then have a look at them all as well just nice and simple nothing amazing 
this slots neatly in there let's hope i can get it all the way in i'll make sure that goes in in a second and then there's the tech spec again just a brilliant little little gimmick i'm on, i'm not going to go page for page but all oh, don't worry just for the first beginning bits because i'm sure you'll love it so there we go new toys new features talking about the movies talking about sending off for robot points japanese exclusives desirous and there's some lovely lovely toy pictures and here we go we're coming already onto different things so we're on to g2 stuff there's the go bots um yeah there you go generation two little catalog there there's some concept art obviously these are figures that we now know much more about these are obviously the unreleased g2 mirage sandstorm there's actually a voyager siege version of him i know sorry kingdom figure out of him now g2 motor master and hotspot of course figures that didn't get official releases then we move on to the beast era and because this book covers everything you've got the japanese beast wars as well so you've got the standard beast wars there is of course megatron there is the japanese catalog again they did just have a much much bigger range of toys um, in japan and they seem to expand everything obviously with the cartoons there was more cartoons and some more stuff robots in disguise unicron trilogy there is of course the unicorn prototype and that's pretty much a very good artist picture of the one that eventually came out for armada there's some more concept art and there is obviously at the top we've got um of course i was talking about tidal wave on that side and then there's the cyber key that transforms primus is it primus of course it is all right there we go on to vinyl tech and alternators i'm going to be doing videos on them soon masterpiece henkai variants of your inferno there slightly different paint jobs that's just the japanese versions you can see it's going through all the things in chronological order so we're up to animated and then live transforms the movie figures there so let's just skip through the rest of this crossovers the potato heads marvels star wars loads of crossovers so now we're into world building in comics and there's some good stuff in this as well to be fair so that was the advert that i don't ever remember seeing on tv um, at all but i've managed to find it and i think i've attached it to my comic review videos itself there's a couple of pictures here from the actual comics there's some classic covers we've got here and then in a second we've got something really good so i'll keep twisting to it again just more storylines more things with all to do with the comics and of course this being the last one an issue 332 it was in the uk that looks like it's i can't see what issue it says number 80 maybe with just the us ones right comic book crossovers so obviously we've got gi joe this was the fold out thing i've shown you this on my what's happening wednesday videos this was a brilliant little free comic that came out with with the actual marvel comic to advertise the combiner teams there we go botcon exclusives so repaints redecos are very popular figures right where's all this stuff there's, there's other stuff there's other pull out things for you to see in a second here we go this one's really good so we've got an unreleased sketch by comics and artist fan favorite casey collar the pocket artwork so there's the colored in version if we have a look at this there is the colored in version of some amazing artwork and then this you saw me just literally slides out the side there is the black and white sketch of it lovely bits of artwork there let's slot this back in neatly there we go i think that's great on this book a couple of little you know, fold out things pull outs there's a brilliant beast wars things I do apologize about the light reflecting off this all right there we go we're moving on so now we've got on television of course there we go there's the cartoon this is amazing look at this there we've got a little animation cell it is a reproduction obviously but it's still really nice to have that that just slots into place there we go and then we've just got more talk about the cartoons lovely bits of animation stills there's some actual videos again more stills victor specter sigma there 
talking about Cybertron from comics, sorry, from cartoons right through to the movie. Movie, another lovely fold out thing. We've got fold out movie poster. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Again, just lovely little, I suppose, additional bonuses that they've just put with this book. I'm unaware if there is a soft cover one. As I say, this is the hard cover. This is the only one I've got. I don't know if there's another. The other book that I did a review on, the visual history, I'll put that back in in a second. Um, had two different versions. Here we go, now we're moving on. SOS Optimus Prime is back. All the stuff after the movie. We've got a sketch and print of Rodimus Prime there. And then we've got a data write up on the back there, which is nice. Talking about him and how they invented the character. Then we've got games. Oh no, carrying on with the actual cartoons because of course Master Force and Star Saber from Victory. Generation 2 cartoon, Beast Wars. It's got all the dates, it's got all your key elements all the way through this. Lovely again, lovely, lovely pictures. Japanese Beast Wars, see they continued it for another couple of years. Again, I've mentioned this, they just seem to expand Extend everything, give you a few more series, a few more episodes, uh, Unicron Trilogy, just so, so, so much more. Right, Cybertron and Energon, talking about them all. Animated, we're up to 2009, and then of course we're up to Prime, Transformers Prime from 2010. Now, big hits, big screen. Of course, it's got to talk about the movies, and whether you love them or you hate them, some of the characters are good. Some, I mean, that's a, I love that scene, to be honest. I'm not a huge, huge fan of the movies. I watch them. Um, first two are my favourite ones, if I'm being honest. I think after that, they need... Bumblebee was brilliant. I like that. Um, but they have gone a bit wayward. There we go. Transformers everywhere. Hats, bags, shoes, sneakers, whatever you want to call them as. More talk about the movies. That's a cool little cinema, obviously. Tickets for the opening premiere of the first one which was Monday, the June the 22nd, 2009. Oh, that's not the second one, it's Revenge of the Fallen, so 2009. Crazy, crazy how fast that's gone. There's Devastator, I think, <laughs> I think any G1 fan will agree with me, the less said about that, the better. Moving on, we've got some more sketch work. Don't worry, we're nearly through to the end. Again, I just want to show you as much of this as we can. The future, this is a bit, obviously, old now because this was 10 years old already but i suppose it's actually what's happening they've had the war for cybertron game we've actually got the massive war for cybertron trilogy going on at the moment this was the original first one from 2011 i think with the generations line um yeah just loads of nice information there's a great picture of star convoy japanese exclusive and then that pretty much covers it some more lovely artwork on the back just really, really like it. Again, I've had a few people request it because they wanted to see it. Just a great, great book. Um, unfortunately, as I say, it is quite old. I've had a few people say, where have you got it from? It is 2011, so it's going to have to be, I would imagine, eBay or Amazon if you're after one yourself. But I hope you enjoyed looking at it. It is really good. It is a great read. There's a lot of little things to pull out and keep you interested. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed looking at it, guys. Keep your suggestions and ideas coming forward, and please take care.